I think that I was just, yeah, living in this shame, living in all this sort of stuff in my past, and I wasn't able to move on. Do you think the person that you, the you of then was on a path of self-destruction? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I would have, for sure, 100%. Yeah, it would have been no bono. It was bad. I don't know if I'd be alive, for sure. It was dark. It was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone, you know, telling me they love me and, you know, just turn their back on you in a second. People take for granted uh, encounters and um, I just want to protect her, you know? I don't want her to go through anything I went through. I don't wish that upon anybody. Do you realize how important your story is? Every time I have a conversation with someone who's been through this unique type of experience, mm. I'm just I'm searching for some kind of truth that can help. I commend you for going there. Tell a story. So, <laughs> I was on the streets, <laughs> and then Papa Coops decided to, that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up. And said to come inside and play with his kids. Yeah. <laughs> Kardashian channels her channels inner, inner cougar, cougar with, Justin, with Bieber. Justin Bieber. Is this a joke? Why they love their prey so young. That is so embarrassing. I mean, I don't know. She, she actually said, or Kim said, I think Justin Bieber should date my sister. And I was like, I think I should date you. <laughs> Justin Bieber has finally spoken out about the exploitation he faced from some of the biggest names in the industry during his teenage years. The pop star recently revealed shocking details about how his early years in the spotlight were shaped by individuals who were supposed to guide and protect him. Instead, figures like Kim Kardashian and Diddy may have taken advantage of Justin's fame and youth for their own benefit, prioritizing their interests over his well-being. Bieber was my time, and uh, with Bieber being my time, I you never, gotta I, say Bieber. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, Bieber. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I never. I, I heard never, a little Bieber. I was like, I, I can't have heard it too. I seen Bieber <laughs> when he was 15, and actually in that 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 um excerpt inside the house where he was like, "Yo, you want one of these?" And it was a Lamborghini. He actually told me to pull the Lamborghini out, pull it in the front, and I pulled it in the front. So it was me, him, Scooter, Scoot. What's his name? Scooter. Uh, uh, Scooter. Scooter. Uh, Scooter uh, Brock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brock. Yeah. 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 It was him, and it was just basically one of them phone calls like, yo, I'm in town, I'm gonna bring Justin Bob, I want you to holler at him for a little while. And he just hollered at him for, they ain't stayed together 48 hours and all that. He just was talking shit right there. He stayed there for about an hour or two, blah, 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 and he got about it. While most people remember Justin Bieber's rise to fame for his chart-topping hits, behind the scenes, he was dealing with situations far darker and more disturbing than anyone realized. These new revelations are now causing a major stir in the industry, with people demanding answers. The truth behind the trauma he endured is finally coming to light, with reports suggesting that Justin was thrust into a world of parties, power, and manipulation that no teenager should ever have to navigate. Justin was frequently invited to exclusive events by older industry insiders, only to find himself in environments completely inappropriate for someone his age. Though these parties may have seemed glamorous on the surface, the reality of what Justin experienced has left many shocked. The young star has hinted that these situations made him feel powerless, as if he had no control over his own life during those formative years. At just 13 years old, Justin Bieber's incredible talent caught the attention of RB superstar Usher, who signed him to a joint venture record label and became his mentor. With Usher's backing, Justin was quickly introduced to other industry heavyweights, including music mogul Sean Diddy, Holmes, and reality TV star Kim Kardashian. Justin's connection to Diddy marked a major turning point in his early career, as Diddy took a special interest in him, presenting himself as someone who could help guide Justin to success. Justin admired Diddy's achievements, but as a young, vulnerable teenager, he was unaware of the darker realities of Hollywood. He trusted these industry giants, not realizing that they might not always have his best interests at heart. As Justin's career skyrocketed, so did his interactions with powerful figures like Diddy and Kim Kardashian, and it wasn't long before he found himself in environments that were completely inappropriate for a teenage boy. 
Kim, tell me about your photo shoot with Justin. Oh my god, it was so much fun. What shoot did you do? I did a shoot in the Bahamas with Justin Bieber. How old is Justin? 16. During the shoot, Justin said, oh, I have a nickname for you. And I was like, what? He's like, cougar. <laughs> Does he have a crush on you? I have no idea. Do you have a crush on him? <laughs> yeah, Kim, do you have a crush on him? If only he was 18. 18? Wait, you know there's stuff all over the internet about how you're a cougar. How I'm a cougar? Yeah. I'm not even 30 years old. Kim Kardashian's involvement in Justin Bieber's life began when the two were seen together at various photo shoots. At the time, Kim was already a well-established reality TV star, known for her viral tape and high-profile status. Her appearances with the young pop star quickly sparked widespread rumors and controversies, especially given the significant age difference between them. I first met Justin Bieber at the White House Correspondents' Dinner in Washington, D.C. And um, I think actually before that, I had said in an interview that I wanted to set him up with my sister, uh, Kendall, who's 14. And then he had responded in an interview saying that, um, no, he didn't want to be hooked up with my sister. He liked me or something just silly like that. It was a joke. And so when I met him um, in Washington, D.C., we took a picture together and he Twittered it and said, you know, me and my girlfriend, Kim. One notable incident occurred when Justin Bieber and Kim Kardashian did a photo shoot together for Elle magazine in the Bahamas. The shoot, intended to be playful and lighthearted, featured Kim and Justin posing together in beach attire. However, the images quickly drew criticism, with many questioning whether it was appropriate for a woman in her 30s to be so closely interacting with a teenage boy. At one point, Kim even referred to Justin as her cougar bait, a comment that didn't sit well with his fans and added fuel to the controversy. This only made it harder for Justin to escape the perception that he was being placed in situations that blurred the lines of appropriateness. Being linked to a high-profile adult celebrity like Kim at such a young age exposed Justin to a level of attention he wasn't equipped to handle. Meanwhile, Diddy's influence in Justin's life also raised concerns. While it initially seemed like Diddy was interested in mentoring the young star, some of the situations Justin found himself in under his influence raised serious questions about the nature of their relationship and Diddy's intentions. Everything's good? Everything's Selling right. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you're, I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah. yeah. Diddy often invited Justin to parties filled with adults where the atmosphere was more suited for seasoned industry professionals. These events featured things no young person should ever witness. A recent video clip shows a 15-year-old Justin at one of Diddy's gatherings and viewers began to realize just how much exposure he was getting to this adult world. Justin's mother, Patty Mallette, has also spoken out about her discomfort with some of the events her son was invited to. She acknowledged that Justin was surrounded by powerful figures who promised him the world, but she felt uneasy about the situations he found himself in. Patty believes these experiences may have contributed to the challenges Justin faced later in his career, including substance abuse and mental health issues. Being thrust into an adult world too soon, with Diddy leading the charge, left significant scars on his life. Meanwhile, Diddy's behavior has been scrutinized on multiple occasions. Sources suggest that instead of genuinely mentoring Justin, Diddy may have been more interested in the publicity that came from being associated with one of the most popular young stars in music. For Justin, the influence of these adult mentors may have been more damaging than beneficial. Fans are now piecing together this information and sharing their opinions on social media. One commenter noted that, Kim is a predator as well, she should be in jail. Another one added, that clip with Diddy Justin looks so uncomfortable. A third person wrote, Justin needs to testify against them all and put them all behind bars. It Fame hit Justin Bieber hard, and it didn't take long for the immense pressure to impact his personal life and mental health. He found himself surrounded by individuals who seemed more interested in what they could gain from him rather than genuinely looking out for his well-being. Before he knew it, Justin had slipped into a risky lifestyle and was grappling with substance use. 
he has been open about turning to illegal substances as a way to escape the stress and loneliness he felt. His inner circle included several influential figures, which made it difficult for him to discern who truly had his back and who was merely using him. The pressure to maintain his pop star image, coupled with relentless media scrutiny, created a toxic environment. Justin often felt like a puppet controlled by others for their gain. During his lowest moments, he acted out in ways that made headlines, further fueling the media frenzy and reinforcing the image of a troubled young star. One significant friendship that deteriorated during this time was with Pastor Carl Lentz. Initially, Lentz appeared to be a positive influence helping Justin move towards sobriety and a healthier lifestyle. However, complications arose and they eventually fell out, partly due to Lentz's own controversies. This betrayal left Justin feeling disillusioned and reminded him that many people he trusted were not who they seemed, exacerbating his emotional struggles and making it even harder to find genuine support. Discussions about Justin's mental state became widespread, with the media portraying him as erratic and unpredictable, fixating on his wild antics and run-ins with the law. Behind all the sensational headlines was a young man feeling used and manipulated by those who should have been guiding him. In past interviews, he admitted to often feeling out of control and pressured to behave in ways that didn't align with his true self. This sense of being thrust into adult responsibilities before he was ready pushed him toward behaviors that harmed his self-esteem and mental health. In recent years, Justin has taken a step back to reflect on his past experiences and is now committed to helping younger artists avoid the same struggles he faced. He has spoken out about the importance of protecting young stars and has expressed concern for artists like Billie Eilish, warning them about the dangers of surrounding themselves with the wrong people and how easily young talents can be exploited. Did you feel protective of her? Yeah, I definitely feel protective of her. Um, it was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone, you know, telling me they love me and, you know, just turn their back on you in a second. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's hard because I want her to know that, you know, she can count on me, but at the end of the day, I don't want to. I just, um, I just want to protect her, you know? I don't want her to, to to lose it. I don't want her to, you know, go through anything I went through. I don't wish that upon anybody. So, um, yeah. When Justin Bieber's experiences with high-profile figures like Kim Kardashian and Diddy came to light, many people were left wondering how these celebrities would respond. Surprisingly, neither Kim nor Diddy has addressed the allegations. The media often downplayed the interactions between Kim and Justin back in the day. Despite some controversial moments like Kim's cougar bait comment which ignited debates about whether it was appropriate to make such remarks about a teenager. However, Kim has never discussed how those comments impacted Justin or the broader issues at play. Even now, as Justin opens up about how those early relationships influenced him, Kim remains silent. Some believe she is intentionally avoiding scrutiny or distancing herself from the negative press. On the other hand, Diddy has a history of exploiting young artists and his relationship with Justin serves as a prime example of this dynamic. What do you think really happened between Justin Kim and Diddy? Was Justin used and manipulated or is this just part of the price of fame? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more celebrity content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an update and stay tuned for more.